Nofernal cable penetrations are assembled with just a few components. Rise insert sleeves that are put around the cables to separate them from each other and from the metal frame. These sleeves are available in different sizes depending on the cable diameter. Noferno filler sleeves size 2215 to fill up the remaining space in the transit frame after all cables have been pulled through. They can be used as single sleeves or as multi bundles of 10. For filling the smaller gaps in the transit, Single sleeves size 1812 can be used. Finally, each penetration is finished with a 20 mm layer of Noferno sealant at both sides. For assembling a Noferno penetration, no special equipment is necessary. A steel brush is needed to clean the inside of a rusted transit frame. A wire cutter is used to cut cable tie wraps. Flat nose pliers and an adjuster with a notch of 20 millimeters are used to adjust the set of filler sleeves. A tube cutter to cut the injection nozzles of the sealant cartridges. To press down the sealant in between cables, a special tool has been developed. The head is made out of PTFE, which won't stick to the sealant. No fernal sealant can be applied with a manual sealant gun, but when several penetrations are being assembled, a professional cordless system is advisable. A cloth with cleaner to remove dirt, grease, oil, or other residues from the inside of the transit frame and from the cables. For finishing the layer of sealant, only a cloth with water is used. In the final stage, a small amount of soap water is used for smoothing. Ideally, the transit frame for a nofernal penetration is clean and coated on the inside. However, transit frames have been in place for a while, might look like this. In this case, the inside of the frame has to be cleaned thoroughly. With a steel brush or by blasting, the corroded inner surface of the transit should be cleaned to remove all corrosion. The excellent adhesive properties of the sealing system will be diminished by corroded surfaces. In addition, any dirt, oil, grease or other residues should be removed from the inside of the transit frame. Remember that a space of 20 millimeters at the front and the back must remain for applying the Norferno sealant. Therefore, the sleeves are 40 millimeters shorter than the depth of the transit. Although the cables can be ducted in random order, a well-organized pulling of cables makes the installation a lot easier. The cable should not be pulled too tight, and an overfill of cables should be avoided. There must be enough space to install a rise insert sleeve on each cable. The cable tie wraps have to be removed to create enough play in between the cables. This will enable cleaning of the cables and insertion of the rise cable sleeves. Lift the cables to clean the inside of the frame. Especially when the cables have been ducted much earlier on, the inside of the frame has to be inspected thoroughly. The cables must be free of any dirt, grease, oil, or other residues. Clean the cables over more than the full depth of the frame. A high-quality Noferno penetration can only be guaranteed when both the cables and the frame have been thoroughly cleaned. It is highly recommended, although not mandatory, to cover the base of the transit frame with a layer of Noferno multi-sleeves. This layer makes applying the sealant much easier and prevents the cables from being damaged. A rise insert sleeve is then installed over each cable. These sleeves are split lengthwise and can be placed around the cables in front of the frame. Although it doesn't influence the fire rating, 
The sleeves should not be too big. or too small. A proper fitting insert sleeve is installed around the cables and pushed into the frame. Positioning the insert sleeves in the middle of the frame leaves a free space of 20 millimeters at both sides where the sealant will be applied. Be accurate from the start. Especially with a higher cable fill, it might be difficult to correct afterwards. The remaining free space in the transit frame is filled with Nulferno filler sleeves type 2215. For ease of filling, Nulferno multi-filler sleeves in sets of 10 are available for filling larger empty spaces. Nulferno multi-sleeves can be easily divided in smaller bundles or even single sleeves. To tear off sleeves from the multi-set, the procedure is to do this backwards, forwards and not sideways. This is due to the strength of the intermediate rubber parts. These parts, or single sleeves 2215 or 1812, can be used for filling the remaining smaller empty spaces. Use a flat nose pliers to insert Nulferno single filler sleeves in the remaining smaller open spaces in the set of fillers. A very tight fit of the filler sleeves is vital to the performance of the sealing system. After the whole transit is filled with Nulferno sleeves, individual sleeves can be pushed or pulled in place with a flat nose pliers and with the Bela Engineering developed aluminum adjuster. Before applying the sealant, verify that the free space at the front and the back of the set of Nulferno sleeves is about 20 millimeters. Cut the injection nozzles of the cartridges in an angled way to create a medium-sized dispersing opening. This will improve the flow of the sealant in between the set of cables. A 20 mm layer of Nulferno sealant is applied at each side of the Nulferno multi-cable transit. Skin formation of the sealant takes place after 10 to 15 minutes. In case of larger transits with a low cable filling rate, do not apply more sealant than can be finished within this time frame. The transit should be overfilled with Nulferno sealant because some sealant will be pushed into the empty spaces inside and in between the Nulferno sleeves during further finishing. This will contribute to obtaining higher tightness ratings. To smooth the surface of the Nulferno sealant, a cloth is sprayed with water. This prevents the sealant from sticking to the cloth. Do not use soap water. Soap water will have a negative impact on the adhesive properties of the sealant. The cloth is then used to press down the sealant layer flush with the end of the transit frame. It is of utmost importance to press the sealant very tightly so that the sealant is compressed into all empty spaces of the set of Nulferno sleeves. The larger the adhesive surfaces of the sealant, the better the performance of the system. The Nulferno sealant between the cables is pressed down firmly. A special tool developed by Bela Engineering with a PTFE compression smoothing part is available. The sealant will not stick to the PTFE. Compression and smoothing, especially in between the cables, is essential to obtain an effective gas and watertight seal. Especially with a high cable fill, a last check should be made to ensure that the sealant layer is pressed down tightly. Air enclosure in the sealant layer should be prevented during finishing because this would have a negative impact on the performance of the sealant layer under fire exposure. The final surface can be smoothed by hand. Just wet the hands thoroughly with soap and water. Soap should only be used in this final stage and only for smoothing the surface. In all earlier stages of the installation, soap must not be used. Adding extra cables through a finished Nulferno multi-cable transit is an easy job. Cut away the sealant layer at both sides of the penetration with a plastic knife or a hollow punch in a tapering shape at a spot where there is sufficient free space. 
Remove one or more filler sleeves to create an opening for the new cable to be ducted. The opening should be large enough for the cable with an insert sleeve placed around it. The cable is pulled through the new opening in the Noferno multi-cable transit. Place a rise sleeve around the cable and push it into the frame. Add extra single sleeves to fill any open spaces. Clean and dry the newly ducted cable thoroughly and refill the opening in the sealant layer at both sides of the transit with no furno sealant. Finish the new sealant layer in the same way as done for the initial sealant layer. For A class penetrations, which are insulated, the Noferno multi-cable transit frame needs to be insulated only at the insulated side of the bulkhead. No insulation is required on the cables or the face of the transit.